So continuing to field questions here for us, Samili. On one of my prior YouTube clips, a student addresses a concern he has about going through my high yield PDFs, which uh, he wonders, are they targeted to step one or step two? Because I have talked about how some of my PDFs are an integration of both step one and step two. And I know some of you guys studying for the exam, let's say for step one, you don't want to deal with anything step two related, okay? So you have that concern. You don't want to dilute out your step one prep with step two material. And likewise, if you are studying for the step two, you don't want to deal with any stuff from step one that no longer is useful, right? So how do we reconcile the use of my PDFs and how they relate to uh, each individual step? And my response is, there are obviously some PDFs I've written that are very easily discernible as step one, i.e. neuroanatomy, immunology, biochemistry, genetics, okay? Those are obviously step one focused documents. Then I have other documents for step two. I have surgery, I have pediatrics, okay? There are documents that are obviously step two. And you can see that. That doesn't require my explanation, okay? Then there are other documents that are an integration of both steps. And that would, for example, be the high yield mixed reviews, which are very effective as rapid reviews. Those serve the function of internal medicine for step two. But bear in mind, I am for step two is just a lot of step one, if you think about it. If your step one is very fucking good, your concepts are solidified, you're going to find your I am for step two is already pretty good. I mean, the concepts are largely the same. Rather than getting, you know, a next best step in management on step two, you might have what's the diagnosis or what's the antibody for step one, but the concepts are the same. So to address the concern of are the PDFs step one versus step two, how do we reconcile? You can obviously tell the PDF is neuroanatomy, biochemistry, immuno, okay? Those are step one. Step two, pediatrics, surgery, etc. And if you are studying for the USMLE and you're, you're concerned about using the mixed documents, they will provide you benefit, okay? They will only help you. They're a good use of your fucking time. There's a million resources out there that are not a good use of your time. So the, the gain is only in your favor. That's my view, okay? And I come from a place of good intent. They're my documents, but that's the truthful answer. You know the deal. I'm going to continue producing more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.